My daughter was trying on revealing lingerie in her bedroom. And I secretly took a picture of her. I showed the picture to my wife and asked her what she thought of it. Her answer shocked me. What do you mean? It's some nice underwear. I bought it for her. What? Did you get her a job at a strip club as well? My wife believed that our Michelle was a grown up already and that she had the right to decide what to wear. But I had a different opinion, and I could easily prove it. While my daughter was taking a shower, I grabbed her smartphone, found her boyfriend's contact, and sent him the picture I took. Do you like my underwear? Wanna see what's under it? <laughs> the guy liked the picture and invited my daughter to his dormitory. had that rat in my hand. A few blows would remind him of our agreement. He promised not to touch her. I hope I won't have to remind you of that again. Good night. The next morning, my crying wife woke me up. She told me that our daughter decided to move out. Hmm. Where is she going? To her boyfriend's. What? Does he have a death wish? I demanded an explanation from my daughter. She sat across from me and didn't say a word. Are you going to say something? With a sly smile, she grabbed some kind of certificate and put it on the table. I'm pregnant and I'm going to live with the father of my child. When I came to my senses, I told her that there wouldn't be any baby. That problem needed to be solved. Your boyfriend is going to run away, and you will be left alone. Didn't you marry mom at 17? Why is my boyfriend worse than you? I ran out of arguments, so it was time for the truth. My wife looked at me pleadingly, but I had to make things clear. When my wife was 17, it wasn't me who got her pregnant. The rascal disappeared, so I decided to do the right thing and propose to her. But there aren't many people like me in the world. Do you understand why I'm being so strict now? Unexpectedly, my wife intervened. I understand what's your problem now. And about time. Michelle won't be the only one moving out. I'm going as well. Denise reminded me that 18 years before, I married her without any demands. 
and she had no idea that I've been hiding my anger all those years. Here's the piece of advice. When you do something noble, don't expect a medal for it. Goodbye, Jack. Anger within the heart is a slow wecked and bison. Thank <laughs> you.